chain. I'm just have a job. I hate on that. Oh, before you leave, though, don't forget, you gotta, uh, you gotta sign my ball. Got Welcome to a Monday edition Bread Talk here at Fish on Fire. Thanks everybody for coming out on this wet, rainy Monday. Um, hope everybody had a, a safe and happy, was it Labor Day last Monday? Was it Labor Day? Labor Day? Yeah, Labor Day. Tonight my, my uh, special guest is uh, Junior Devereaux. Devoe, 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 Junior, Devoe, all right, now I'm not going to say number five or number 15 because you had two numbers last year. Yes, I did. Huh? <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. But, <laughs> tell us a little about what, what we do here on Pride Talk. Now listen, we're very laid back, casual. If you want something to drink, we'll get you something to drink. Um, you just have to answer my questions, that's all. Say less. All right. <laughs> But what we like to do here is what they didn't do, we didn't do last season, is we like to let the fans know who you are. You know, because they knew who Junior DeVoe. Yeah. See? They all thought you were Devil Row last year, see? I'm <laughs> glad you're here tonight. But uh, just a, who you are, where you come from, things like that, what you're all about, just to get to know you, you know? So, where, Junior, where you come from? Where are you from? I'm from Miami, Florida. Cassidy, uh, born and raised there. Grew up there. Went to college at the University of Cumberland in Kentucky. Uh, just moved back. I've been here for four years now. Moved to Orlando area. Love the area. And so I've just been making the most of it. Now I'm teaching. I'm, te I'm a teacher now. Don't take away my questions. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. I'll slow down. So, yeah, yeah. You ain't hear that from me. You ain't hear that. I'll wait till he asks. But yeah, just been making the most of it. Uh, I miss Florida because I was out of Florida for a while. Lived in Georgia for a little bit in Kentucky during college. But now I came back because this is home. I didn't want to come back to Miami, but I wanted to start somewhere new. So Orlando, my brother's here. So Orlando was a place I always wanted to check I gotta out. Say, I got to say this. How tall are you and how much you, how much you weigh right now? You, you look a little thicker than you were last season. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little thicker. Um, I'm six foot 220 right now. That's all right. No, 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 no. That's, that's, he's not a girl. I can ask him these things. <laughs> I didn't yeah, say he's joking, yeah. I said he's thicker. Yeah. Thicker. Now you know. But he's a ball player. He's a ball player. What did you weigh last season? 200. Two. So he's yeah. 220. So now he can knock that defender on his ass <laughs> yes, instead on. of, you know, bouncing off of him into the wall. He can knock him on his ass and, and we'll move on from that. Mary Lou Bianco says, hi, Junior. Hey, how you doing? You know nah, don't worry, I'm going to cut it back down. It's 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 all quarantine. We got, we got time. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, all we quarantine. Got 14, 14 <laughs> junk on there. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> are you married? No, I'm not married. No? You got any kids? I have a, a daughter now. I know. I, I know. <laughs> yes. Yes, I have a seven-month-old daughter. You know, me and her mom are still together. So we've been, uh, so it's been a year now. Um, I have a daughter. She was born February 4th, 2020. So, uh, congratulations. Quarantine hit right when she was born. So, I've been spending time with the baby while mom's been at work because, you know, teachers, we didn't have, we was working from online. So, I'm teaching online and raising the baby the whole time. So, it was, Good for you. it's been a, uh, it's been tough. But yeah, making the most of it. You're in the fun stages right now where the yeah. babies, I mean, you know, they're under a year. She's, so you still hold she's crawling, carry. standing up, rolling around. Around. I had to get a gate to, you know, keep her in it, one it area. Great! I have a because we did great on adoptions. I have a crate that you can borrow. Okay, you know, okay. 
<laughs> Just saying. You know, uh, it's you know, a crate is a kennel. I mean, the grounds are, kennel? Uh, nah. you know, it's... She, she'll figure it out and break out of there. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> My wife will kill me on that one. Yeah. Uh, Mary Beth says hi. You know who Mary Beth is, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, uh, I'll be throwing Mary Beth's name out there yeah. throughout, throughout the show tonight. But first off, I'd like to say... Um, Tonight we have Amber and Joe on the floor taking everybody out here. We got Heather behind the bar. You guys take care of them because they're taking care of you, okay? So uh, also, if you do get up and walk around, please put your mask on. That's one of the mandates to fish on fire to be open and for business and serving you guys. So if you get up, go to the facilities, you get up, go to the bar, get up, go to another table, please put your mask on. But when you sit down, you can take it off. No worries. All right, have a good time. You got hot food, cold beer. All right. Um, Junior, when you were in school, what other sports did you play? Did you play any of those sports besides football? Yes, I played baseball. Baseball, what I was position? Actually, I was actually a baseball star from uh, outfield, third base, first base. That's what I played. I played, I played baseball when I was in school, too. Really? Yeah, I played left play? out. What is that? I was left out. Oh, man. I was left out. I'm sorry for your yeah. loss, man. I know. I know. I thought it was good. But, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a mind thing. It's a mind thing. Um, before we get too far into it, because I know uh, Monday Night Football is starting. Monday, this is the first night of Monday Night Football of the, of the 2020 yeah. pandemic, whatever you want Crazy. to call this year. Yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, tonight... We've got the Steelers at New York Giants. Who are you liking it at? Have you, have you thought about it? Mm. That's a tough one. Oh, man. That's a tough one. You know, Big Ben's back, and we're going to see how that shoulder holds up, how he does. Uh, you know, Danny Dimes is look, was looking pretty good. They have Saquon Barkley on the other side. So, um, that's a tough one. That's, um, that's, it's going to be a tough game. And, um, the Steelers won two out of the last three games. Mm. All right, now I don't know. I didn't do that much research on it as far as home and away and all that. Um, I think Big Ben's got his, his, his work cut out for him, yeah. even though they are six-point favorites. Yeah, it's week one, and you never know what can happen week one. That's and the biggest thing. Trust me, I know. I watched the, I watched the Tampa the Tampa New Orleans game, you know. Yeah. Little big Tom, Tom, Tampa, Tampa Bay, <laughs> Junior Colony, right? Right? Yeah. And the uh, Gronkineers, and and it just didn't work out for him. I mean, I wish him all the best. It was tough. But it was, yeah, it was a pretty tough game. Um, Hard to start off with the Saints. Now, 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 the quarterback for the for the uh, Giants is his second season. Yeah. Jones, right? Yes. Jones. So, and he's got Barkley is just Barkley is the number two or number one pick in fantasy football all over the board. He's a freaking agent. He's a beast. Pittsburgh's defense is going to have to stop him. I think that's right there. And like I said, Pittsburgh is a six-point favorite. I'm, I'm going for the upset. I think the Giants are going to win in New York. And that's going to be the upset right there. It's just my pick. Because we're going to start doing something. I'm going to try and do something different just to uh, get the fans involved. And you guys can quote in there, you know, at home. And... Um, we're going to do something called Pat's Picks. So I don't know if we're going to do it on Pred Talk or we're going to do another show or whatever. But we're going to do something with the NFL season. Wow, we're still waiting for the NAL to get really, really ramped up. Um, sure. Who do you like with the Titans and the Broncos tonight? I got to go with the Titans. Derrick Henry is... He's out of cruising this year. Derrick Henry is a beast. <laughs> now, he's a freak of nature. I, I, you know, like I said, I, I was just, I thought you were going to be late, so I was coming up with different stuff. Yeah. And, and you, uh, you were, you were here on time, <laughs> which I appreciate. Um, now Denver, Denver has won the last, two out of the last three games. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Titans win when they're in Denver, and they're playing in Denver. And then they just added Jadavian Clowney, so yeah, it's going to be a big one. That, you know, and, and what is it? Is it over under 41? And the Titans are, are a three-point underdog. No, they're a three-point favorite. But they're playing in Denver, which they win. 
good. I'm picking the Titans tonight too. I like it. I like it. The Titans. That's just me. That's just that's just Pat's picks for the Monday Watch night football. Underdog. What's that? Watch home underdogs. I know. I Watch home <laughs> underdogs. <laughs> it is. Well, that's true. That's true. Listen, Denver. I I uh, I lived out there for a big six months many years ago, and when you go and you play in Denver, it's it's a different, you know, for opposing teams with the thin air, you know, they, they're not used to it, you know, so it's like when you come to Miami, when you come to Miami, my team, and the humidity and everything is there, you know, other teams are not ready for it, but, so, you were kind of heat out there, <laughs> it's unbelievable heat out there, uh, why Orlando? Why Orlando? I mean, you came from Miami, but you've been in, my, in Orlando now for four years. Why did you pick Orlando? It's a, um, that's a good question. Um, I grew up in a rough part of Miami, so I was trying to get away from it all, focus on me and better in my future. Now that I have, you know, I want to have a place where I can raise my kids, everything like that. Well, kids, now I'm not going to read that into this child. Yes, raise my kids child. Really good. <laughs> raise my child. Um, and it was just somewhere I can focus and figure out what I wanted to do with my life and, you know, broaden my careers and everything. Because my, my degree is in communications and in my mind is exercise science. So I wanted to go into broadcasting, but it didn't work out that way, so I ended up in teaching. That's good. I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's an honorable profession right there. Yeah. Um, I, I told you, Mary Beth said hi. Mary Lovianco, she said she's beautiful about your daughter. Yes. You see her all the time. Yeah, she has gray and blue eyes. So it's been... It's Brandon great. Starling is watching tonight, too. Brandon Starling has... It's the owner's son. Oh. It's the owner's son. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brandon, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Magic Man, of course, is present. You know oh, yeah. Milton Magic State right there. He's got a question, though. I know that. Ooh. He said, uh, Milton's got a question. It says, uh, what is your favorite football movie? Favorite football movie. All right. Definitely Gridiron Games. Gridiron Games. Gridiron Games. Who was in that? I forget. The Rock. And Exit. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he was a coach. Yes. I got you. I got you. I like that one. Um, I, I, second mm. Second would be Replacements. It would be. Oh, the old man. Keanu Reeves? <laughs> yeah. That was funny and good. <laughs> uh, I like the old one. I like Brian's song. And it was just on the other day. Uh, about the gal sitters. Yeah. The close story. Yeah. I like that. Um, <laughs> any, any given Sunday? Yeah. Well, we don't have any of the Predator players that were in that movie here tonight, so. <laughs> no. It was a great movie, though. It any is a good Sunday one. Was That's a, a great movie. movie. That's a classic. Um, Green Iron Games just I related more to my backstory. So. Judy, Judy Yeager Taylor yes. says, love you. Who's love that? you, too. Oh, that's, um, I actually met her grandson. Her grandson's name was Xander. It's something, if you ever see me play it, I've always worn this blue bracelet. It's called Xander Strong. Yes. He was a 12-year-old kid that had cancer, and so he, he just lost his battle a couple years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah, it, he was close to my heart. I always looked out for him. Uh, he was a he was a great story, man. I love spending time with kids. You never know something was wrong. He always was in good spirits all the time. Love you too, Judy. Always. Mary Lobiaco says she wants to hear about Judy, not not talk about NFL. Okay. So we're gonna move on. Uh, <laughs> Mary Lobiaca says she loves how you dance and react and, and yeah, and reach the kids. Tell us about that. Yeah, because you've been doing a lot of stuff like on TikTok and other things where you get kids in there and you teach them a, a dance, right? Yeah. Tell us about it. Okay, so I've always been a dancer on the side growing up. I used to be a hip hop, a hip hop dancer, and I wanted to get back into that. I ended up working at a trampoline park. It was called Two Infinity in Lakeland. Now they're called Defy. Uh, by uh, Extreme Air Sports. And so when I was doing that, they had this thing called uh, Club Night. 
where they did, you know, entertainment and everything like that. And so I ended up hooking up with those guys and I reached out to him when I started teaching and I was like, hey, why don't we do what we do here? Start doing pep rallies at school, you know, because kids deserve that. I always wanted to be an inspiration to kids and set an example that you don't have to go that hard life. You can, you know, do other things in life. There's bigger things, bigger things in life. And so I always, you know, did pep rallies. I love I love the kids, love spending time with the kids and everything. Dancing was fun. And now that I'm teaching, I started incorporating that into, you know, some of the lessons. Yes, I am on TikTok. Uh, a lot. <laughs> a lot, yes. I actually, I actually, I'm not a big TikToker, but I'm almost to 5K followers on TikTok, so it's getting up there. I have a mixture of me dancing, mixture of me with a baby, and some other, and comedy stuff. So it's just been fun. It's been a way to express myself since I didn't get really into the, uh, you know, I used to love video, doing videos in college. So now that this is a little bit easier with TikTok to do all that stuff. So it was just fun. It was fun, fun to have fun with it. I'm gonna put you on the spot here real quick because um, Brittany Manick, one of Cycle Fever TV's hosts, myself have gotten with Laura Constantini, our dance coordinator, all right? And we want to take one of her classes that she does like on a Tuesday or a Thursday, okay. preferably a Tuesday, okay. and record it and film it and put it out there. Okay. I mean, if you get in there, it'll take all the attention away from us. <laughs> So, no, 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 no. He's gonna be on there. There's gonna be no, on no, there. No, no, no. Oh man. <laughs> but you know, if if it's not gonna be like this Tuesday or next Tuesday, we're gonna work it out. We're gonna work. Okay. and I'll give you a heads up. But if I give you enough heads up, would you be interested in coming on? Sure, that'd be fun. There, you got it. So I got it down. It. Could you write that down? So we got to mark it in there. All right. Oh, okay. Get the contract ready. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I don't have a problem with that. I love um, dance, so that's no problem. Oh, I know. I, I, I know. You do a good job, man. You got natural rhythm is just, I, I can't dance for nothing. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I think I can, but I can't dance for nothing. Question for you. What excites you most about playing for the Orlando Predators again for the 2021 20, season? The jungle, to be honest. The jungle, right? I love the fans, the jungle, how the, the atmosphere was. It's an awesome, awesome experience. I love it. There, there is no other place like the jungle. No, there's When that music comes on and the lights go low and, you know, and it's just a claw comes out there. Yeah. Just, I mean, just seeing him come out here make gets you pumped up, you know? Um, as far as staying in shape and everything during the whole pandemic, because you were planning on the 2020 season, yeah. you know, which was, everybody knows, was canceled. Um, now we're getting ready for the 2021, and we have so much time in between. The new baby, working. Well, first off, tell me, where you teach at? Where you, shout them out. I teach at Orange County Preparatory Academy. Oh, that's where Coach Higgins, right? Where he was? He's yeah, where he was. He's not there anymore. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, that's where I teach at. I am the PE coach and athletic director. Good for you, man. Congratulations. So it's been, it's been an interesting interesting transition. That all started, I, they offered me the job at the beginning of last year, and then I got offered the athletic director, so I've been coaching the soccer team, basketball team, and the volleyball team, so it's been, it's been an interesting time. That's, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Hey, if you don't mind, how old are you? I will be 28 on Thursday. Thursday is his birthday. Okay. Eight years old this Thursday. He, uh, oh, my God, run it down. All <laughs> 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 right. The gotcha. 17th. Gotcha. It's Junior's birthday. You heard that, right, Mary? Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I made a new Red Talk sign out there, so <laughs> thank you so much. You uh, were my graphic designer for that. Let's see, Ray Lynn says, uh, what grade do you teach? Uh, this year I'm teaching 5th through 8th grade. 5th through 8th grade, yes. What, what, um, what, are the, what are the grades in? Uh, it's a K through 8th. K through 8th, yes. 
So you, you've got it right before they go. Yeah. To the next level. Yeah. The kids yeah. at this school are a little bit easier than the schools, the previous schools I've been at. You know, I don't, uh, you don't have, because it's a charter, kind of a charter, it's a public charter school, so you don't get the big attitudes like you get at the regular public schools or anything. But I make the most of it. I love, I love the kids to death. I've been bonded with them. It's been a great time. That's a, um, I don't want to say it's a skill, but that's it's definitely a temperament that you got to have. you got to love the kids. I mean, I've got I've got five daughters and I've got nine grandbabies, and I couldn't teach school. Yeah. I, middle I don't school have is actually, middle school is probably the tough years. Those are the most tough years. So it takes a lot of patience to deal with those kids because they think they're, they think they're grown now. They think they can, you know, they can do just about anything. They can't, they can get away with it. So it's just been, it's been tough. Back to what I was asking. All right, because I get, I get off track. I get off track all the time. It doesn't matter. Um, what have you been doing to stay in shape during this off period, through the pandemic? And, you know, it was a big disappointment yeah. when, when the season got canceled. But what have you been doing to stay in shape? All right. I'll tell you. I mean, I, uh, it was actually tough once uh, school got canceled and everything. Well, not really canceled. We were online. It was tough. I was doing the workouts with the kids because they were like, well, we're online. Why do we have to do it? So I'm like, if I'm doing it, you're going to do it in camera too. So we did it together. That's what we did. And then when that was over, it was kind of tough you know, watching the, watching my child 24-7 while you know her mom's working. Her mom was coming come home at like 6 or 7. So it was, it was tough. But I made the most of it. My uncle actually coached is at Lakeland High School. So I worked it out with him. It was like, look, I gotta work out. I gotta get back, right? And everything. So I would go show up to the Lakeland High School. You're in Lakeland, right? Yeah. 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 So we would show up at Lakeland High School, bring the little swing. I'm working out and he's watching watching my daughter as I'm working out. What's your daughter's name? Cameron. Cameron. Cameron? With a K. Cameron with a K. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Cameron Simone DeVoe. That's her name. Well, that's pretty cool. It's not Devereaux? No, it's DeVoe. All right. Just to clarify. It's French. <laughs> I'm, I'm Bahamian. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know where I came up with. I Trust me. Growing up, I've had Devereaux, Devino, Deverino. That's Italian. Yeah. <laughs> my Italian brother. I'll take it. That'd be cool. I'd be proud. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, Mary LaBianca wants to know what is the biggest challenge with teaching kids? Mm. Trying to convince them that they don't know it all. Oh, that's the biggest that's challenge. A, that's a losing battle. <laughs> that's the biggest challenge. Because they feel like they battle. know everything. <laughs> you know, it's something made me watch it tonight, right? Because you posted it out there. Yeah. You shared it. So. Yeah. Hopefully, Sammy, you don't know everything. All right? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, Junior, what, what do you feel that is your biggest strengths on the field as a player? Um, determination. Just always trying to grind, trying to get better. Uh, just trying to make a play for the team. That's pretty much what it was like last year. Just, just whatever I can do. If it needs to be a block or I need to get, you know, get some yards, I did that. You know, just trying to help the team the best I could. Just so everybody knows out there, Junior has not seen the questions that I asked. Uh, I ask the questions all the time, but it's all repetitions for me. But I think one of your strengths on the field is you never give up. You get open. You get open. All right. I mean, I, I, I think one of your, your your best moves is I don't even know if it's called a move or not. But you, you know, I, I call it a juke move. You're going out and you, you start to step one way and go the other, and next thing you know, you're you're, you're making it. You're, you're making. What did they say? Um, you're, you're making them drop drop the job <laughs> because they're uh, and then you're gone. Yeah. You know, and and I think that's one of you know. I think dance has a lot to do with that. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just so good with the hips. And exactly. Trying right. to work with that. You know, that's yeah. I always try to work on my footwork and you know breaking in and out of my cuts. I 
that to some of my mentors. Uh, Joe Hills took me under his wing when I was out there in Tampa through the storm. Uh, Lamar Brown was also another one of my mentors. Raymond McNeil was a, a mentor of mine and Kendra Beams. So they always, you know, looked out for me and was trying to work and get me to where I am today. That was one of my other questions there. What other professional teams have you played for, Junior? Uh, the Tampa Bay Storm and the Florida Tarpons. And the Tarpons. So you played with Matt Wells, you played with Ronnie Hardison. Yeah. I've had them both on the show Boys. before. They're good. They're good. I, yeah, that, yeah, I love them, man. They're they're yeah. awesome. Boys. They're good people. Yeah, they're good people. Actually, I had Ronnie come over um, just a week and a half ago. Oh, yeah. And, and he's going to come back. He, he went to uh, an event. I had an event over at um, uh, Friendly Confines out in Altima. I did want to get it ready. We What we did was uh, one of our sponsors, Florida Man Radio, the Shannon Burke Show was out there, and they were broadcasting live. And they were gracious enough to, at last minute, ask us to come on out. Do we want to come out? And we handed out T-shirts. I had Ronnie Hardison there, one of our TVs, and we had two of our uh, Predator Prowler dance team members out there. We had Justice, and we had um, uh, Kara V out there. I got to, believe it or not, they put me on the radio. I was on the radio for about a 20-minute spot. It was, it was awesome. It was cool. But I think we have a little clip of that. That's what we did over there. So enjoy this air. We'll be right back live. <laughs>
fresh one. That's it. We love it. Yeah. yeah. And it was the one down to touchdown to the seven and one point game. We're back. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a great time. Uh, it was. It was. I think it was my. I, I think it was the second time on the radio. I don't know. It was kind of crazy. But Shannon Burke and and those guys and Jeff Green and DJ, they were amazing. Everybody over there at Friendly Confines was amazing. But speaking about amazing, <clears throat> again, thank you, Fish on Fire, for being a sponsor for the Orlando Predators. And I want to thank Amber and Joe here on the floor taking care of everybody, and Heather behind the bar. Again, please, take care of them, because they're taking care of you. And wear your mask, for God's sake. Let's keep them open, all right? Um, you, got, you were telling a story uh, with Ray Lynn here on the break. And if, uh, please, enlighten us. Tell us what it was about, because I, 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 I had to walk away for a minute. Which story? I don't know, something about which, it, which story? It, 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 she was telling me about my daughter's gonna get ready to walk soon. And I was like, man, she's already a handful now. Uh, in her gate, she has a basketball goal hooked up in there. And she's been climbing up, hanging from it. And I'm like, uh oh, I might have a basketball star on my hands coming up. And then I look away for a minute, her head's stuck in the goal. And I'm like, how, what you doing? <laughs> I'm like, come on, come on. So she was like, man, can I had to unscrew it, take it off. And I had to, then I sat her down and I said, look, this is a basketball goal, all right? I showed, I grabbed the ball, I said, it goes in the net, not your head, in the net, in the net. That's what you gotta do. And then, you know, now she looks at, she'll look up, move her head, and then come back up, all right? I said, all right, cool, we good now. You, you understand, she learned a lesson. <laughs> and she's how old? Seven months? She's seven months. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, she's a smart baby. That, that is, that's amazing. Um, Jay Water says, little bro, miss you. Uh, miss you too, man. Love you, Shane. Jay's been following a lot of these guys. Yeah. Florida Tarpons and yeah. just. Uh, you better bring that Chucky doll to the Predators game. Okay, you heard that. What's a Chucky doll? Oh, uh, that's his little. That's our little. That was our little mascot for the Tarpons. He used to bring us to all the games. It was our good luck charm. Okay, cool. And everything. I do it. Anything. Listen. <laughs> if, if it works and, and it helps us out, I'm all for it. You know. <laughs> I'm all for it. Um, who is this here? Kanisha. Kanisha Pollock says... Hola. Oh, I don't say that you. because it's just, you know... <laughs> hola, hola. Okay, because I didn't, you know, want any kind of <laughs> thing. back. I just called somebody a hola. Gotcha, gotcha. You know. Yeah. <laughs> but she says, hey, uh, Laura Love Cazzatini. You, sis. Laura Cazzatini there, she's going to... She goes, he could join her for a dance player routine during the game. Because if you guys remember, I had Herky Walls on the show uh, a few months back, and he's going to work something out with our dance coordinator, Laura Cassatini, and do some sort of a routine at halftime. Or it's got to be something where it's going to have to take a, a, a little bit of time because we're going to make Herky work for it. Okay. It's just about you and Herky doing a thing. But you got to remember, Laura, he's got to play. So yeah, we'll that's work something up. out. He's got, he's got more important things to do. Dance on the thing. He's got. He's got to play. He's got to be ready for it. But back to back to you. Okay. <laughs> well, pre-game rituals. Did you have any pre-game rituals? Um. I say you know we came in the locker room. I would have my, all my, my game gear laid out, ready and everything. Had to put the pants on at least. Had the you know our little predator shirts that we wore. And then I go, you know, survey the field, go survey the field, try to, I was always uh, getting one of the quarterbacks. I would get one of the quarterbacks. At the beginning, at the beginning it was Gary Shalou, if you remember him. Yep. I would have him. We always go out together. That was my, we were roommates at one time. And 
we always go out together, catch the ball, get a feel. I always try to get a feel for the uh, for the field, so get get my bearings right, get ready for it. See if the shoes that I got gonna keep the traction, or should I switch shoes, stretch around, survey, you know. A lot of work. going on there. Yeah, it was a lot. You know, play. I got I got the music playing. You know, so I can get in the zone, just focus and everything on the task at hand. What we need to do. Speaking of, as you have done, what song do you listen to? Right now? No. Before a game, is there like a, 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 a music, certain music, or, or an artist, or a song that you just play, play, play? Um, it would have to be Trey Ovine. I listen to his stuff. It's not. It's more of a like a DJ type mix, mix everything like hype music and everything. But if I if there's certain artists, I would say it would be you know Drake of course, and then a couple you know few new, new artists that's been coming out. But Trail Five mostly is who I be listening to during pregame because that gets me hype. That's I mean that's what it takes. Yeah. yeah but whatever it takes is what it takes. Now now uh, you were on the 2019 team. Yes. You're like the first. Excuse me. Um, how, how do you motivate some of the newer players, the younger players, if you're down, you know, at halftime, you know, by three touchdowns? How do you keep them motivated and not and not let them get down in the dumps and all that, all that negative BS? Yeah, it was it was t- it was a tough year all overall, but we try to make we try to make the most of it and you know, try to build as a group. And for the guys that, you know, stayed for the long haul, I was there for seven games. So it was it was definitely tough and definitely ch- tough adjustment, you know. Um, at halftime, we just was trying to build each other. Hey, man, it's all right. We're just going to keep fighting. It's going to turn around. That was our belief. It was going to turn around. We was going make to make it happen. You know, some of them games came out just a little bit short because we were, we were in some of them games. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know. We were in a lot of the games. Yeah. Some of the games were just... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, mean, I want to. Yeah. And I'm not here to talk about negative stuff yeah, about yeah, the 2019 yeah, sure. season. I just not. I won't. Let, yeah, I won't let you either. I'll catch you. Yeah. But you know, because negativity does not bring yeah. positivity. So. The ball bounced a different way. We exactly. could have won those games. Exactly. So. That's, right. well, that except for that one of the 60 to nothing. That was a little tough. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't part of that. So. <laughs> I was. Oh no, man. I know. It was, it was, yeah, that was tough. that was a rough one in Carolina. Was, yeah, that, yeah was, that, was, that was rough. And it was one of them was at home. Yeah. So, so let's see. You're playing pro ball. You're you're a teacher. What are your long term goals? Long term goals. Do you have any right now? I mean, you're a young man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, they tell me I'm still young. I'm still, still young, but body hurts a little bit now, but make the most of it. That's, that's um, because you got a seven-month-old daughter. <laughs> you wait till she's 16, and oh, now your body hurts. Don't, don't rush this. Don't rush that. <laughs> no. Nah. Um, repeat the question one more time. I forget. <laughs> what are your long-term goals? Long-term, long-term. Yeah, I want. I really want to get into broadcasting. I really do. That was always my passion in college. So I want to get on that. I did an internship in Kentucky for sports broadcasting. Uh, did um, sports broadcasting. I did commentating some high school games up there. Radio. I did. I did some radio up there as well. My own show. So I, I really want to get back to that one day. That's really one. Day. You know, I. I, I uh, the voice of the Predators, really, Aaron Cooler, on the show twice. I interviewed him once, and then he interviewed me once. Show. I don't know how that went, but <laughs> but I, I I could introduce you to him. He is such a great announcer. Yeah. And, and it's, yeah, I mean, I can I can I hook you up with that there. Not yet though. We still yeah. Need you on the field for sure. On the field. Now, Ray Lance got a question. Says, what made you decide to become a teacher? Um, funny story. Uh, my parents, everybody, my parents, my auntie, the cousins that were teachers, they all told me not to get into it. There's, there's no money in there. Don't do it. And I was like, but I love kids. That'd be fun. Um, I was working at, when I first moved back from college to Orlando, I was working as an assistant manager at Pilot Travel Centers. 
So I was working there, and then somebody, my athletic trainer, one of the athletic trainers from my college, is now the assistant AD at a high school. He was like, how you move to my city and don't even tell me? Because I got a job for you. So he got me into teaching. I mean, he got me coaching. So I started coaching at that high school. He was like, man, it'd be easy if you start coaching. I was like, man, I'm not ready for high school. I'm only 23 years old. I don't want to deal with that. So I was like, maybe I go to elementary. So I started subbing at a Citrus Ridge a Civics Academy in Davenport, Davenport, Florida. And that's right. where it all started. And I've loved it ever since. I was second grade assistant, and then they asked me to be the English teacher because of my communication background, and then that's all she wrote. I started teaching English for a couple years, and then I got offered a PE job. I don't want to go back to the classroom now. I'm outside. You're outside. <laughs> I'm outside in the gym. I, I'm loving it. And if it's raining, you're inside. Yeah, you inside. Yeah. Something. Having fun with the kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, outside of sports and outside of dance. What do you like to do? What kind of hobbies do you have? That's a good one. That's a good one. Because my, my life has been revolved around sports, teaching, and dance. And then baby. So, what do I like to do? Well, now it's been TikToks. That's, that's pretty much what it is. TikToks. I make, I probably like record six videos a day and then I just post maybe one or two a day. So I have like 30 in the draft. Not even a lot. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been making the most of it. I got some good ones that I'm going to post on. I went viral a couple times. Uh, I made a, a little par parody because they said we was going to be teaching with mask on. So I was like, how am I supposed to teach as a sports team, as a sports person? And so I was like mimicking how I'd be in a class trying to throw a football. And I threw a football from half court into the basket on beat. Like it landed. You ever heard that song, No Air? Yeah. Yeah. So when you hear, you hear the, the, when he hits the, the little clash, it lands in the net on the clash. So yeah. That's how like eight, that's on TikTok? Yeah, it's on TikTok. It's at 8,000 likes right now. You'll get there. Mary, Mary Love Yaku, you gotta uh, pull that up on TikTok Got and it. save it and share it. Um, <laughs> roll up. What you look up to growing up as a roll up? We're just gonna look up your TikTok and show you. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> you know I gotta show you. <laughs> well, that's one. I'm gonna look at it now while you tell me who your role model is. Role model, role model. Everybody want to be a dreadnought, you know? We just went to the state championship a couple years ago. Yo, that um, was great. That yeah. was great. I didn't know you were left-handed. No, that's my right hand. It's oh, just, it's it's just a reflection of the okay. camera. Yeah. Threw me off. Yeah, I used to play quarterback in high school, so. I think everybody did. Yeah. And no offense. I'm not saying you're not that quarterback. It looked like a nice, yeah, it just nice helped. spiral, you ba know? Baseball is really what helped out. Oh, yeah. Being, okay. a, being an outfit. Role models growing up. That's actually a You were uh, telling me something earlier here about someone you looked up to. Oh, uh, I looked up to some of my mentors. You know, that's when I moved back, when I started playing, when I really got into arena ball. When I got into arena ball, I started doing, you know, some of the prep. When we was at the Tampa Bay Storm, there was, the receiver group was deep. It was Joe Hills, it was uh, Michael Lindsay, Lambo. It was Lamar Brown, Justin Hilton. Kendrick Eames, it was it was deep, and so it was that first year. It was like, look, you know, we're deep right now, but just just learn from us and everything. So it was just it was a learning year, my first year with the storm, and so I learned a lot from them. They took me under their wing, and they all, always try to help me out with the best they could. I still keep in, I still keep in touch with Lamarck and Kendrick because me and Kendrick just had babies around the same time. So, sure. Yeah, but that was your head coach over there. Uh, Coach Ron James. I had to think about it. I had to think about it. It was a while. He was, yeah, he was checking out Ron, Ron James. All, all the talent around you. Yeah, all we, the talent around you. We had a we had a talent. We went to the Arena Bowl that year. Unfortunately, I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, we went to the Arena Bowl and we played Philly. It was it was a tough it was a tough hard loss. But uh, that's in the AFL, correct? Right? Yes, in the AFL. AFL uh, yeah, it felt like we so. Yeah, oh, we, we, we did what the Falcons did, to be honest. Yeah, we came out there and kicked your ass in the first half. Yeah, and then it, it, it didn't it work out. out. <laughs> yeah, it came out. Yeah. Was their quarterback Brady? 
Or was it Tom Brody? It was Rodabaugh. Dan Rodabaugh. And then we had, we had, uh, what's his name? I, I, I see the picture. See the face. Hip. Hipper. Okay, yeah, Hipper. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah we had Hipper. That was our quarterback. Um, to date, what do you feel is your, your professional, your most professional achievement that you're most proud of? To date, what I'm most proud of? Yeah. Don't say your daughter. I'm not professional. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I gotta go with my daughter, but no, okay, no, no, okay. Professional, professional, professional football? Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, or teaching. Teaching? Yeah, I thought you might say teaching. You know? Teaching? Oh, um, accomplishment, I could tell you. Thank you. You know, after I left the school, they told me, but apparently there was a. 66? I can't remember the number, but their kids struggled with the FSA the previous year before, and then when I came there, they all had a group. Oh, it was almost like 80% of my seventh graders passed the FSA, or they had increased it. So it was, it was, it was a big accomplishment. I was proud of it. You know, I didn't think I was getting through to them, but I always try to. When I try to teach, I always try to do things that relate to the kids, so that they will, you know, always remember these things. I know certain teachers they just want to stay strict to the book, straight to the book. But I'm like, I, right. I was, I was that kid. I always think about it. I was that kid growing up, and you know, what would interest me? to make me want to learn this stuff or remember this stuff. And so I always incorporated those things to make them, they said I made English fun, so. And those scores, they affect, they affect the school. Yeah. Right, as far as like income for the school and different ratings yes. for the school. That's what I thought, so good for you, man. That's awesome, yeah, I appreciate it. Something like that. Um, what were you like in high school? Um, I was bad, I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was one of them. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, because that's what I said. <laughs> when I was like, I said, yeah. I was bad. Yeah, it took a lot of hang with me. Uh, yeah, it took me. Well, I went to I went to three high schools, so that might tell you a little something. What? <laughs> I, went to, <laughs> I went to high school in Fort Lauderdale, then I went to high school in, in two high schools in Georgia. So, yeah. so they kicked you out of the state. No, we wanted to relocate. Oh. We wanted to relocate. That's what I'm going to say on camera. We wanted to relocate. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> all right, back to football. All right, what's up? What words of advice would you give a brand new player coming into the NAL? I give them the same advice I got. Uh, it's not easy. Always grind. Don't expect anything is going to be handed to you. Um, hey, each week you're fighting for your spot. That's how it is. It's a grind and everything. You never know when you get that call you got to come into the office and be like, uh, pack your things. We're releasing you, you know. I've, that actually first happened to me this year. That was my first time. And, you know, I went to it. But, you know, even if you get released or anything, you don't make the squad, uh, always keep grinding because you can get brought back in like they brought me back in at the end of the year. And, you know, I was just there to just make the most involved. That's what you got to do. You see, when, you, when, you, when you first came in, was you number five or 15? I was 15. You were 15 when you first came in. Yes. And just so you know, uh, if you go to the Orlando Predator website, and you scroll down a little bit, it says, watch the game live. It's a picture of this man right here catching the ball. <laughs> it's there. So, I mean, yeah. it's for real. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have you back. I'm yeah. happy to have you on here tonight. Um, did you sign a contract yet? Or Not yet. Not just yet, really. um, I know Coach is going to be here. Yeah. But there was some big confusion, you know, earlier on Facebook. And I got to apologize to, you know, whoever got confused out there because I wanted to post out there. Coach Ben Bennett goes, um, can you put on there that I'm going to be over at such and such a place tonight doing Monday night football? And I'm going, like, yeah, 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 I'll do it. And then I forgot I had posted juniors about Fish on Fire print talk yeah. before that. So... I had to go back because some were, some people were either going, where's it at? It's not a fish on fire and people were getting confused and my apologies. It won't happen again. Alright, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad the folks that toughed out this weather looking nice outside now, but the, yeah, the, the, the usuals 
the regulars are here. Most all the regulars, I'll say. Um, if you could have dinner or drinks with three different people, past or present. Uh, I told I gave you I gave you a heads up on this. I saw that one, but I who, who would it be and why? Past or present. Michael Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's a dancer, you're gonna say Michael Jackson. I mean, I did meet Usher, so maybe, maybe yeah. Usher. But um, that's tough. That's a tough one. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll let you get back to it. I'll let you get back to um, it. While I think about it. What's that? Oh yeah, while you're thinking about it. Duh, thanks. That's why you're here, IT. Season tickets. Get your season tickets now. If you haven't already got your season tickets for the 2020 season, you can still get season tickets for the 2021 season at the 2020 prices. So keep in mind, the 2021 season, we're gonna have an extra game. So instead of paying for six games, for the $98, you're going to get seven games. Now, that price is good until the end of this month. Whether it's going to carry over to October, I haven't really heard yet. I have not seen Ron or Nate here tonight. No, the camera didn't freeze. I was just waiting. But um, $98 all over bowl from row eight up is $98. You're gonna get seven home games, all right? Call Mary Beth, 386-624-3731. IT John just put it on there, 386-624-3731. Uh, we'll get back to that later, but get your tickets now, because honestly, with the pandemic going on and next season, the, uh, the Amway is gonna be doing something different as far as sterilizing the Amway. Tickets are gonna go up, so get them now, all right? You get to see this young man here on the field, all right? Get your tickets. You got three people for me yet? <laughs> I might have two. You got two? <laughs> all right, two. Go two people. <laughs> okay. Do I have to know them, or no. just any, no. anybody? No, 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 no. Whoever you want. Whoever I want. Yeah. Hey, listen, I had, I had, um, I'll throw him out there. I had Valen Trio say, um, Jesus Christ, uh, um, oh my God, who was it? Jesus Christ, Joe, and uh, somebody else. But, but it was all, it was all biblical. all biblical. And it was like, good for you. Okay, okay. Cool. okay. No worries there. I don't judge nobody. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I judge yeah. Mike for a second on <laughs> TV, but I don't judge anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, um, Maybe having dinner with my boys from the past, you know, uh, Jameis Winston. We were we were cool for a while, but now, yeah, yeah. huh? You know Jameis? Yes. Yeah. Uh, actually, when Jameis was suspended, uh, he had to do the workout with uh, you know, practice players, all that stuff. I was one of those guys that worked out with him. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Man, that's got that's got exciting. That was fun. Yeah. So yeah, so. You know, we exchange numbers. We keep in touch every now and then. It's been a while since I've talked to him. Cause I don't want to be one of those guys that's always blowing his phone up. So, sure. But I always, you know, give him some motivation words. Cause he had a rough year, like, honestly. But he bounced. He's on the most. Had the most. He had what was it, number one yards, number one touchdowns, number one interceptions. Yeah, it was a rough year. He got a rough year. But he's with the Saints now. He's with the Saints. I wish him the best of luck. They didn't sure. even show him on the sideline last night, did they? I didn't see him. I, I watched it yesterday. Sorry about your time today. Um, Mary Lobianco wants to know what, what favorite food you like. What's that? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> he had LASIK. He does wear it. Yeah, he has LASIK. No, he, he got LASIK. Yeah. No, he got LASIK surgery. Yeah. Favorite food. Favorite foods. Favorite foods. She put ass on there. Yeah, she put ass on the end there. Um, I love barbecue. I ain't gonna lie. I love season barbecue. Some ribs. Uh, I love season. Huh? Cecil's? Yeah, Cecil's was good. Cecil's. Um, but I'm an island boy, so I love me some island food. Some jerk, jerk pasta, jerk chicken. Um, I must be an island boy too, because I love that stuff. <laughs> I love it all. I used to love conch, but I can't have it no more, so I'm allergic to seafood, so I 
can't have that stuff anymore. But I used to, I grew up on Kung, Kung Fu, as my dad makes it all the time. Bahamian recipe. Uh, you ever heard of Kung Fu? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure, man. Yeah. Just making sure you know. Listen, if it comes out of the water, my wife won't eat it. But I do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love That's it. That's why I love this place right here. Yeah. Fish on fire. Nah, I, I don't know what will happen now. It's been a while. Uh, I used to swell up. If you ever watch Hitch, I used to look like yeah. that sometimes. I see it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or now it just now it's just like peeling. It's, it's not as severe as it was. But I haven't had any seafood in a while. I've been do it. I've been curious to tr- test it out and see what happens. But you know, I never had an EP pin, so that's a good thing. That's good. Yeah. So it wasn't never that severe. Just take some Benadryl. I'm good. To go. One of my daughters is very very allergic to shellfish. Yeah, yeah shellfish. And that's what, she's got everything. Those things are expensive. Yeah. They never gave me an appetite. So. Yeah, good for you. I've been allergic to, to a lot of things, so. I'm, I'm allergic to work. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, it was ironic being a football player and I'm allergic. I'm allergic to grass and all type of grass and all type of trees. No. Yeah. So that was that's gotta be tough. Yeah, I had to wear sleeves, but I got tired of it. I was like, look, I'm just gonna get the cuts. I'll be alright. I'll take the medicine afterwards. I got tired of it. Yeah. During this whole quarantine thing, it's, and hopefully it's over soon. I know November fourth it should be over. Um, have you been binge watching any any shows? Binge watching. Yeah. What have you been watching? Oh man. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of the superhero shows, I must, I'm not gonna lie, I must admit I'm a fan of superhero shows. So I've been binge watching all of them. I'm, I was upset that some of the seasons got cut short, but I, you know, uh, Flash, The Flash, um, Black Lightning. Uh, my little brother just got me into an- watching anime, so I just started watching, binging anime stuff now. Since the, the I haven't had, there's no shows coming on, new shows coming on just yet. I'm waiting on you know, the Disney Plus uh, stuff to come out and everything. It's because you got to set it with your dog. I have a Disney Plus. No, I'm talking about the Marvel movies. The Marvel uh, shows that's coming out, like Falcon and the, and the Winter Soldier, that's coming out soon. So I've been waiting on those shows. But I'm, a, I'm more of an action guy. I love action shows and superhero shows, so that's what I've been watching lately. Yeah, you're not watching like Married Married at First Sight and 90 Day Fiance. Uh, my girl has don't get me started on that. My girl was watching that stuff. Oh, you man. know, the only reason why I, I, I must admit I watched Married at First Sight because one of the guys' name was Keith, which is my real name, Keith. So I was like, all right, let's see what he does. And he had a good girl, you know, everything was going well, and then at the last day he's like. I ain't getting married. I'm breaking up. I was like, oh, you just made us look bad, man. <laughs> All keys are out All keys are out there now. Um, I am. Like, my wife and I, we, she watches and records. So I watch with her because I want to be with my wife. Yeah. And we're watching um, nine, uh, Married at First Sight in Australia. Oh, that's pretty different right there. That's there's some weird. There's some... There's some couples on there that you think, oh yeah, they're gonna make it. And at the end, he's got like, no, I wanna leave. Yeah, and you're like, what? It's, it's, it's surprising, some of the stuff that you see. Yeah. yeah. We've been watching, we've been watching uh, Outlander. Okay. Have you seen that? No, I haven't seen that. Oh, you gotta check it out, Outlander. We, I have we, so we, many we, shows that I put on my list, on my different things. Mario, Mario put them on here, but we've been just watching a few different, different uh, shows out there. We're thinking about, it's pretty cool. Travel back in time, so travels back in time to yeah. 18th century Scotland. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. It really is. Uh, don't watch it in front of your three-year-old daughter, but it's, it's seven months old. It's okay. There's some racist stuff in there. Yeah, she be she be chilling watching the stuff with me in the unfazed. So <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, listen. Just, uh, last weekend was was Labor Day. Did you guys? Did you do anything Labor Day? Actually, we did. Um, I had to, in the summertime, I was going, my parents' anniversary was the 31st of July, and so we were planning to go to Key West, and, and it was going to be me, my girl, my daughter, and my parents, but at the last minute, she had to camp, my, my, my girl canceled, and I was like, wow, we still going, me and my daughter still going, so we went, we didn't go to Key West, but I went because I had to take my certification for teaching, which I passed, Good so for I'm, you. I'm a certified teacher now. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a big deal. That is, that's that's tough. a big deal. Yeah. 
So now I have my temporary cert and I just got to take a couple more tests and then I'll be have my professional certification. So that was the first step, you know, taking teaching seriously now. Um, but then I promised her, I was like, look, we're going to go to Key West. You're going to get to come to Miami with us. So we went to Key West over Labor Day weekend, which was the worst uh, decision we made because everybody, everybody from Miami had the same idea. We are going to go to Key West. So, you know, driving from Miami to Key West is like maybe two to three hours. It took six hours because it's only one road. It took six hours because everybody was down there. We were supposed to get there at like four in the afternoon. We didn't get there until like nine on Saturday. But uh, I just knocked, checked off my bucket list. We went uh, jet skiing for the first time. So we went jet skiing on Sunday, that Sunday, which was a fun experience. You know, it scared me at first. You know, I didn't know that thing can move like that. This is, this is you know, she won't ride. She, she said she won't ride on the jet skis with me no more. So, uh, understandable. I started going fast. She got mad because I was trying to follow them, and then I got off the path. So we got on the choppier waves, and so you know we hit. <laughs> Yeah, the highest we got, the highest we got, I didn't tell her this, was 50 miles per hour. She didn't realize it was going that fast, but yeah. At the end, that's when I started to get the hang of it, and then, of course, the tour is over. No, it didn't toss her off. I almost lost my shades. That was, I had my shades hooked on me, and it flew off, and I heard someone put my foot as I'm hitting the waves, so I had to hold, hold the throttle as I reach and grab the shades and saved it. I guess that's just death into that, my hands. That'd be a video in itself. Yeah, right so it was fun. It was fun, you know, going jet skiing. Then we went walking around the tour because it was the first time, so she never experienced none of this stuff. So it was fun. She wants because of the the how long it took to get down there. I don't know if she wants to go back, but we're gonna try again. Maybe on not on the holiday. On the holiday. The holidays is always going down the Key West. Yes. It's a two lane road. It's a two lane road. It's you know, that I'm seven mile like highway. Yeah. It's it's uh, uh, yeah. luck of the draw, luck of the draw. Um, my, my wife and I on Labor Day on Monday, Labor Day, we went, we looked up. It's like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? And she goes, let's get down to this place called Wild Florida. So we drove down to Wild Florida, it's down in Keenan, Keenan, Florida, which is you take the 417 over the turnpike, turnpike south, and then don't ask me what exit it is, but it was about an hour away from where I live. But it, it was worth, it was definitely worth that hour drive. We went airboat riding for an hour, and then we drove through, it's like Lion Country Safari, but it's called Wild Florida, minus the lions. But they had just about everything else out there. And then a petting zoo walking around, it was, it was, uh, it was the coolest place ever, it really was. We got a clip from that, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. John, if you can do that there, thank you.
at the cypress bush over here. All these cypress trees off to our right side. Pretty cool. This is a pretty old cypress tree to our right. Don't know how old it is. I mean, you see all the cypress trees surrounding it, how wide it is towards the base. Um, let me oh, start yeah. the boat up so we don't run into this cypress tree in front of us. Yes, dear. Tech now, yeah, we got brakes going in there. <laughs> thanks, Phil. <laughs> and thanks, Phil, Kelly, Milton, for coming in tonight, man. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Zero support. There was no really sound on it. There was a couple of uh, with the airboat ride. This place was just amazing. And just so you guys know, that one cow, the white one, tan one, whatever color you want to call it. It was there. It was not a dead cow. It laid down and started scratching its nose on one side of it. Then it laid down, threw her head on the other side of the tree and started rubbing her chin on the tree. She was just relaxed and just enjoying the day. It was it was a great time. And the airboat ride, the, actually, our captain, which you saw her there, her name is... Um, Oh my God, Brooke. Her name is Brooke, down at Wild, Florida. Ask for her. She is so amazing, and she grew up on that lake, and she's been a captain for Wild, Florida for four years now. But, um, man, she takes you to so many different cool places. You go down there, check it out. The price is right. It's not expensive, and it's a great way to spend half your day. It doesn't even take a whole day, but you could spend half your day there, and it's, it's amazing. It really was. It was a great time. Um, there was another question I saw on here. Oh, but I want to say I want to say hi because I know I want to say hi to Kim Dean. Kim Dean. I went to junior high school with this girl, and we've been friends on Facebook. I haven't seen her since junior high school. It, they call it middle school now. Yeah. Back then it was junior yeah. high school. Um, we've been friends now. I guess I don't know, eight years maybe on Facebook. Facebook is, a, is an amazing tool. Yeah. You can you can reach people that you haven't seen in forever, and you still don't see them, but you still communicate. And you still yeah. you know like their posts, share their posts, and just my, hi, my how you best doing? friend from kindergarten found me. It's amazing. Yeah. It really really is. Um, you see a lot of uh, <laughs> back to your questions. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> she she keeps me in check. Yeah. She gotta keeps make me in check. <laughs> Uh, Nick Green is watching. Nick can't be here tonight because Nick is one of our, our, our friend heads along with Milton and with Tom Trailer. And uh, he works out of town. He's going to be here next week. Uh, if you can make it next week to come on in and watch. Yeah. I don't know if you remember Coach Rob Keith. 
Oh, yeah. Coach Rocky. I met him all the way Predators head coach um, back in the AFL days. And I think part of the glory days when we were just kicking ass out there. Well, Coach Rob Keefe is, a, is an Orlando uh, Orlando favorite, but he is the head coach for the new Albany team oh, yeah, that yeah, we have that. in the NAL. And uh, since the owners of the Orlando Predators own the Albany team, and if you'll notice, I haven't said what the Albany team name is, and I'm not because yeah. I've not been privileged to don't, say Yeah, don't say it. But, um, he works in the same office as I do, and I see him every day. That's awesome. And I told him, I said, hey man, why don't you, uh, why don't you come on Pret Talk? And he goes, well, first off, first off, I ask, I ask, I ask, uh, this is Tredico, yeah. the other owner there, and I asked Ron, I said, I'm going to ask Rob to be on the show, and he goes, he won't do it, he won't do it. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I'm going to ask him anyhow. So I asked him, and he goes, heck yeah, man, I'll do it. I love what you guys are doing here with Red Talk. That's, that's amazing. That's good. You know, keeping the word out there, this and that, I'd love to come on. I'm going like, okay. And so you for the 21st. So next Monday night on Red Talk here, I'm going to have head coach of the Albany team, Coach Rob Keith. So enough about him. Yeah. It's back to you, Junior. This okay. is your night, bro. This is my show. Sure night. My, this is my day. Okay, all right. I love to ask this one song. And Mary said, talk louder, please. So talk louder? I know she ain't talking to me, but she's okay. always talking right. to me. Right. I'll talk a little louder. Use my coaching, coaching voice. Okay, all right. Use your, right. your pinky voice, just no whistle. Okay, okay. No whistle. <laughs> Say this. This is probably my favorite question of the whole night. If you could pick one song to play every time you enter a room, what would that song be? Ooh. I know, right? Ooh, that's tough. Because I have a lot of favorite songs. Every time you walked into a room, this song would come on. It has to be the newest song that I like now. It just came out. It's by Drake. It's called Laugh Now, Cry Later. So, I like go. I like it. He gonna put me on the spot. I'm not <laughs> revealing that talent today. <laughs> no, no worries. It's, it's, it's a, sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess we know now, baby. And I did a I did a TikTok too. It was pretty cool with my with my daughter. Speaking to my daughter. Let's check yeah. it out. Yeah. Check it out on TikTok. What is your TikTok handle? Um, DTG underscore entertainment. Okay. DTG underscore entertainment it stands for Determined to Be Great. It's my my uh, I like it. Determined to Be Great Entertainment. It's my business. Bring them Doing, over. Uh, my business when I do uh, pet rallies and everything like that with the kids performing. We, uh, if I'm not mistaken here, somebody just got us bread shots. Ooh. Bread shots. Oh, thank you. No, Phil, that's because you talked about lenses. If you would have talked about photography or this and that at a game, maybe you would have got a print shot. Whoever got these print shots, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> watch the screen. I will watch this. This is the Orlando Predator print shot. Okay. All right. If you'll notice the color, it's black and red. Orlando Predator colors. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw it on there. So, uh, we can do this here. We got pictures of your baby right there on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Seven months old. That's here you go. Look, Fred Shot Salute. Do you know what's in that? What's in that? I don't know. It's Predator Glory. <laughs> no. Um, I can't tell you what's in that shot because what's we're going to do a contest. Oh, you got a tattoo? Oh, I didn't see it. Oh, there it is. What's the tattoo? What's your tat? All right. Joe. I'm Bahamian. So it has the handprint. It's not her handprint. It's kind of my handprint, but it shrunk it because it fit on my hand. But it has the Bahamian flag inside of the handprint, like an ancestral type deal. And then my last name. So you can say it right now. You know, it's Devo. There it is. Devo. Yeah, Devo. <laughs> I just call you Junior because I'll screw it up later on. I don't know. I just that's fine. Good. Um, what do you think of that Fred shot? 
That was that was really good. That was pretty sweet one. It was like Kool Aid. Yeah, it was. Yeah, this is one place where you can drink the Kool Aid and you're fine. Hey, say that. Um, the reason I won't tell you, it, it came and left of, of his daughter. There you go. Yes, there she is again. Oh, she's Duncan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. She coming for it. Basketball she, star in the making. By the time she's old enough to play in the NBA, there won't be no WNBA. Because of <laughs> equality, everything yeah. else. There'll be females, males, everybody out there. For sure. <laughs> um, the reason I won't tell you what's in the bread shop. Okay, what's up? Is because I'm, I'm thinking about doing something. Because I'm going to be doing different promotional places at different clubs, and different odd clubs, different restaurants, different bars. Because, like, um, around the confines, we did it. We did that gig out there with Florida Man Radio, and uh, they're going to jump on board. They're going to be a sponsor for us out there. So we're going to have like a red shot contest. Okay. So it'll be out there, and, and I won't be the judge. It, we'll have. You going to be in it? Different play. Oh, well, I'll be tasting them. That's so I'm just thought, not going to be a I judge. I'm just not going to be a judge. <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, we're going to do something like that later on. And here's the thing for you. Back to your questions. Thank you, Mary Loviaco. Um, describe the feeling of you running out on the field when they announce your name in the jungle at the Amway Center. Man, the lights are down. Eric Kohler. I honestly, I love that feeling. I'm not gonna lie. It was it was totally different from when I was with uh, Tarpons, and so just the atmosphere coming through, especially the first day, the first game when we came out, that was it was nothing like it. It was awesome. We had a, uh, a, a, what, a two year, three year hiatus to yeah. where the Orlando the Orlando fans did not have their predators to cheer for, and we you know we came back 2019 that first home game. It was battle, battle of the jungle because it was against the Columbus Lions, which we played last week. You know, when we were on Labor Day, we did a rerun of that show. I hope you guys watched it and enjoyed it, where we won. Yes, I, I, I said it was one of the highlights for last season. Yeah. But uh, you were on that team, were you? Yeah. That's awesome, right? Yeah. I mean, but tell me your feeling. I mean. Pittsburgh and New York. Somebody the bubble down near the goal Somebody line. Fumbled. Looks like New York's got it. I don't know though. Yeah. Man, that first game was just electric. It was a lot of nerves going through it. Many of us, because it was the first game, a lot of expectations, first game back in the jungle. And you know, we had to we had to hold it down, not disappoint the fans. And so and, man, I tell you what, that game right there was so excited. It was back and forth, back and forth, back, back and, and forth. forth. It was a great game. I was just talking to one of the Columbus Lions players you know, about the battles we were doing in that game and in the other game we had with them. It was, it was tough, you know, but we prevailed for that game. It, the season looked pretty bright. Uh, you know, unfortunately, things didn't go that way after that, but hey, we live and learn. We'll be able to bounce back. It sure. happens. It happens. Back. This, this next season here, the 2021 season, um, I, I said before, I'm not going to talk negative stuff about previous owners. I am not. But we have the right people in place for the 2021 season. Now, we had it in line for the 2020 season, but the pandemic happened. Yeah. But with, with Nate Starling and with Roger Nico and the Trudico family, we got head coach Ben Bennett. And, and some of the players that we got signed from last yeah. for the 2020 are coming back for the 2021 season. Yeah. You know, I, my desk is right next to the, uh, you know Ben Bennett, um, which if you haven't heard yet, Ben Bennett is the general manager as well as the head coach. So I eavesdrop on him a lot and listen to what's going on. Yeah. So if I can share it, I will. Um, but yeah, we got. So much going on. I am so excited for the 2021 season. It's going to be, it's going to be a great time. It's going to be amazing. You know, I don't want to sound like no, 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 no. <laughs> It's going to be amazing. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to meet uh, the other owner, but I, I know Nate. Nate's a great guy. Coach Ben is a great guy as well. I'm surprised. 
I'm not sure if I met him. So, Brian? Yeah. I'll introduce you. I'll introduce you. Ron's a great guy. He's a great guy. Absolutely. Um, back, to, back to some of my silly questions. Okay. If I gave you $50,000 right now to start your own business, what business would it be? Ooh, what business would it be? <laughs> Maybe a trampoline party, to be honest. I actually, I actually like that business. It's been fun. You know, um, you know, because I love the kids. Maybe doing some of that, doing some type of entertainment, some type, some type of entertainment. That's always my passion. To be honest. Entertaining. Yeah. Maybe you could do a show like Red Talk or something. One day. One day. Yeah. One day. You can do it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Absolutely. If I can do it, you can do it. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're amazing, man. I appreciate you having me on here. No, uh, it's my pleasure to trust you. Um, I want to say hi to Laura Constantini. She is watching tonight right now. And a good friend of mine, Carlos Bellarone. I've worked with him over at Cash America Pond. Love you. We got to play golf. Um, call me. All right. Um, Junior, tell me something about you that most people wouldn't know. Don't look so shocked. You're sitting here looking yeah, at my yeah. cards. I give you, I'm not looking. I'm actually not. You know, I'm an open book, so you can ask me anything, and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. I'm going to give you an easy one that a lot of people don't know. Is I sing. You sing? Yeah. Are you any good? I mean, I sing too. Right? <laughs> but, uh, are you any good? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah? Yeah. You want to give us a little bit? I knew that was going to happen. That's the only reason why I was you like... You said it. I mean, you yeah. You opened that door. It's okay. It's okay. You opened okay. that door. You want me to sing right now? Sure. Okay. I'm scared. All right, all right, all right. Say I'm not singing. It's been a while. Okay. So I ain't singing in a while, but we're going to do my best. Charities. Um, I can't remember the charity that he, that we did. 
Actually, it's Xander Strong. That is a charity. So that's Strong. Xander Strong. Yeah, okay. Xander Strong. Hashtag Xander Strong. That's a charity. And so that was the biggest thing on me. And I, of course, I mean, you don't have to have 15 different charities in your life. You just, you know, um, I, I like to ask because with, with Nate Stalling and with very big into giving back to the community, very big on just focusing on giving back. And and I, one of one of ours, I know one that's very very close to Nate's heart is 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 kids. Kids battling cancer, kids battling different you know, different uh, terrible illnesses. So uh, yeah, I mean that's one thing that you you Predator fans need to know about Nate Starling that his heart is is huge. It's it's it's, it's so big. Uh, he's he's such guy. a giving person. And a lot of people think, oh, he's the owner of the Orlando Predators. He's he's a millionaire. It's not what it is. He just loves the Predators so much, and his heart is <laughs> he bleeds black and red, but. Gives back. I mean, what he makes, he gives back to the community, and that's 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 why I, I love that man so much. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's can't say enough about it. Can't say enough about it. <laughs> For sure. Um, really, I, I I get choked up because it, I can't say enough about it. Yeah, he's a great guy. Man. All right, let's get the stupid shit. Okay. If you were What's stuck up? on a, if you were stuck on a deserted island, what three things would you have to have? Oh man. <laughs> And don't tell me a cell phone. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, I, I would have to. I would have to have a cell phone or something to watch, you know, the show. But we can't do you that. Know, um, maybe now that I've rode a jet ski, obviously a jet ski because I'm going to have to ride it. Uh, some, some rum, of course. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Got to have some rum. Sure. And third thing, I don't know. That's a good question. Stuck on an island. That is a good question. That's tough. It is, uh, right? That's a good question. My daughter, for sure, okay? What's she gonna do to help you get off? She gonna entertain me. <laughs> the whole time. And she gonna, she go gonna entertain me, you know? Right, right? Shoot. We'll be alright. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with living on the island. We'll be alright. I'm gonna say this real quick. Alright, what's up? You know Paul Griffin, right? Yeah, Paul I know. Paul Griffin's watching right now. What's up, what's up what's Paul good, Griffin? What's up, Paul Griffin? Miss you, big dog, miss you. There is, um, man, so many players from the 2019 season that I miss. Um, we won't go there. Hey, what's the scariest thing you ever done? The scariest thing you've ever done? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> scariest thing I ever done. Okay, scariest thing you ever did. <laughs> ever did. Oh, okay, all right. Um, man, I got to think about that. I've done a lot of crazy stuff in my life. Oh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, college years was some interesting times. So scariest thing I've ever done. I don't know. Dang, you asking me stuff that I can't think of on the top of my head right now. Uh, hey, you're um, a little earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have thought about it and had it, but I had to, I had to, I had to go see my uh, I mean, guy. I, mean, I had to go see Dr. Donnie, man. Yeah, Give me some chiropractic. Gets me adjustments, man. You got me right. All right, so, we'll come back to that. Yeah, come back to that one. I'm gonna think about that. All right, you think about what was I'm gonna think about what I want to say on the on, on, on the video. That's the, that's the main you, thing. What's your spirit animal? You just want me to say one? You know? Yeah, what's your spirit? What would you think your spirit animal would be? A monkey. A I'm, monkey? I'm, I'm wild. You're wild, crazy. Yeah, I'm wild, crazy. You're one of them spider monkeys. Yeah, I like They're to crazy. I like to climb things, you know what I'm saying? So. All right. Superpower. Superpower. If you had a superpower, if you woke up, you had a superpower. Super speed. Super speed, fast. Yeah. You're already fast. That's okay, though. <laughs> That's all right. I want to be faster, you know? All right, let me ask you this here. If you could wake up tomorrow and you had a new talent, what would it be? Now, just to help you out with this question, it was asked to me, and I I did not hesitate. I said, play piano fluently. I didn't want... Yeah. I want to be... I want to be... To be honest, I want to be... 
A more of a professional dancer. A more professional dancer. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the biggest dancer. I can admit that. You know, I I know a few things, but I wanna. I wish I was more fluent with it. To be honest. But you're good. <laughs> I try, man. I try. All right, I'm gonna blow through. Uh, okay, let's go. These are real fast, real I'm fast questions, right? All right, all right. And then we're never gonna wrap it up. Then we're gonna wrap it up because we're, we're running into uh, Monday Night Football. I know a lot of these fans wanna watch Monday Night Football. They wanna watch, yeah. So what's your? Uh, we're gonna do. What's your favorite movie? Favorite movie? I said we're gonna be fast. The Fast and the Furious series. I'm gonna just say the Fast and the Furious series. Favorite actor? Uh, favorite actor? The ooh. Chadwick Boseman, man. I gotta say Chadwick Boseman. R.I.P. Oh yeah. Yeah. There you go. yeah. Uh, favorite color? Blue and red. I'm sorry. Black and red. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said, he said black <laughs> and red. I'm sorry. I know he said black and red. <laughs> it was just a glitch in the audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite drink? Favorite drink? Um. Tequila, so tequila. No, I mean that's what I wanted. I wanted the Bahama Mama. I look, I like me some hypnotic to be honest. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, good to see you. Ah, Dicky, you're going to make it, Dicky. It's good. Made it right for the end. That's the best part. <laughs> okay. Surf and turf. Surf and turf. Steak or fish? Steak. 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 Dogs or cats? Yeah, watch how you're answering. I'm allergic this. to both, to be honest. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm allergic to both. Okay. I love dogs, but I'm allergic to both. Okay, <laughs> loves dogs. We're gonna go with dogs. Uh, water ski or snow ski? Water ski or snow? Snow. Snow ski? All right. All right. I love the snow, man. I love the snow. <laughs> I, went to, I lived in Kentucky for four years, so... I got it. Huh? Kentucky? Williamsburg, Kentucky. Uh, uh, and I got it. Like they never canceled school at my college until I went there. And it, it was snow days, all that stuff, ice on the road. So it was a it was a fun experience. So. Hot dogs or hamburgers? Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Winery or brewery? What did you say? What was that? I know my scariest... Now you told me. I know my scariest thing now. I know my scariest thing. I know it now. That's it. Going drifting in the snow. Oh, that's <laughs> scary. I remember now. That was an accident. No, that was it. So fun experience in the snow. It was fun, but it was scary, you know? Yeah, but he said, y'all. I'm sure all the residents think Yeah, it was funny. he was like, y'all ready? And I was like, hey, go ahead. And he hit the, he hit the emergency brake with which. Hey, it, was yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Until we got stuck. We got stuck and I had to push him out, so it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Jared Colston Green is watching tonight right What's now. Good, too. Bro? Jared Colston Green. What's good, man. I'm gonna get Jared on the show too here eventually if I can yeah. work out his schedule. He's a busy man doing all yeah. that and this and that. I'm glad I had to I had time to make I had to make time for you. When you messaged me, I was like, I got to. I'm yeah, ready. I hit you up kinda of, I mean, I gave you a week and a half, but I you hit me up on Thursday or something like that. But was it that late? I can make I can make time, you know, it's okay. And I appreciate I mean, it. I, I know, I know my child is wondering where welcome. I'm at right now, but it's okay. And I you know, I mean it was a holiday last week. Yeah. Time got away from me and man, I, I appreciate you coming. Yeah. Hey really Jaren, hit me up, bro. Hit me up for real. Jeez. If you need his number, I got it. I got him. I got, got his number. His number. I, got it. I got his number, but yeah, hit me up, bro. One rear brewery. Brewery. Thank you. No. <laughs> What? Neither. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I'm okay with uh, Ruskies. I'm all right with it. I'm, just, I'm getting used to it. Go Pepsi. Pepsi. That's tough. Pe- I gotta go I Pepsi. Know. I gotta I like go Pepsi. Pepsi. But I like Mountain I gotta Dew. go Pepsi. Yeah, Mountain Now you, now you talking my language. Mountain yeah. Dew. You gotta do the do. I know. Yeah. Sweet or salty? Sweet or salty? Sweet. Sweet. Don't look at me like that. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> and then the last, the last and final Back question. Back in the man, sweet the juice, that's all I gotta say. The last and final <laughs> question. Boneless or traditional? Traditional. Flat. Uh, actually, flat syndrome. Yeah, flat, flat syndrome. I like flats. Okay, good. We are. All right. Yeah. I thought we, I had to walk off and you no. said drums. You know no, 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 no. My wife. Right. I give my wife all the drumsticks. I eat I both, but flats. flats I prefer. I'd rather flats. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. Um, that's what we got. That's what we got tonight. I got no more questions. You got any questions for me? Uh, what you looking forward to the most for next season? A ring. Ooh, yeah. I'm looking for a ring. You know what I'm saying? Because with the lineup that we got 
on our on, on our roster. The school is, and the squad looking and, pretty and good. The coaching staff that we have and the ownership that we have, I'm looking for a ring. Uh, you know, for sure. Without a doubt, I want a ring. Yeah. I've seen the um, hell. I have. I've got. Um, um, Rob Keith in my office there, and he showed me his ring from last season where they won in the oh, NFL. Yeah. And I'm going like, yeah, I want one. They had a squad. Nice. And since I do work technically work for the Orlando Predators, yeah. I qualify. I already classify. You know, I, I clarified yeah. that, that I get a ring, right? Yeah, so, of course. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah, man, we just gotta just gotta grind and do what we're supposed to do. And I'll do whatever it takes. I'll do whatever it takes. Huh? We'll see. It's coming. It's coming. Actually, the coach was going to be here tonight, but he's got that other gig at that other place. So, yeah. Dickie <laughs> Owen's got your contract. He's, okay. He's, he's going to pay you. He's going to sign you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's all under the table, man. Okay. So oh, now nice. Stay left. Now Stay is left. the time What's up? to where we give our shout-outs. Oh, man. And anybody you want to shout out to, you shout out to school, your, your, shout out your to girl, your baby. Okay. Uh, I help Griffin's following me tonight. I'm going to save her for last. Uh, uh, she was like, if you don't say nothing about me, she's going to bring my neck when I get home. So, and, you know, shout out to Lauren, shout out to my family, my parents. Uh, shout out to the whole Miami crew, the Bahamian crew. Let's go, hey. Christ shout out to my home, you feel me? Uh, anyway, it's not even with that. I ain't going to switch to the accent. But, um, <laughs> Shout out to my, my daughter. I love her with the Cameron Simone. Hey, shout, out, shout out to Cameron. KK, I love them, KK. Lauren got accepted. She's going to be a basketball player. It's going to happen. It is what it is. All right, she's going to play sports. So stay tuned for that. Um, I love y'all all. Shout out to OCPA. I love my, my, my school family. It's been a great experience. I'm loving it. So, and shout out to Fred Nation. Shout out to Orlando Predators. Can't wait. Looking forward to next season. It's going to be a great experience. Without a doubt. It definitely is going to be an amazing 2021 season. I want to give my shout outs now and then we're going to be out of here because uh, Monday Night Football is coming up. But I want to shout out to Fish on Fire for hosting us tonight. I want to shout out to Amber and Joe for taking care of the floor. Heather behind the bar. You guys take care of them because they're taking care of you. Uh, Morgan, we miss you. Absolutely. I can't wait for you to come back. Uh, don't know why you're here tonight, but I uh, hope you feel better. Let's see. I want to thank Brandon Starling, uh, Lori Toole. Jared Colson Green, Paul Griffin, Carlos Benarone, everybody that tuned in tonight. I want to thank everybody that came out here tonight. I want to thank Cycle Fever TV for doing what you do. You guys are amazing. Appreciate y'all. I can John John and Mike. You guys are and well and Raylan. Yes, Raylan. <laughs> um, I want to thank my wife, Mary Bianca, for putting up with me and let me do what I do. Nate, Starling, Roger Nico, the Orlando Predators, Pred Nation, God, Florida Man Radio. There's so many people I feel like a NASCAR driver after just want to race, want to whip up all these different sponsors. Um, next Monday night, next Monday night here at Fish on Fire, get your ass down here. We got head coach Rob Keith of the Albany team, the NAL Albany team, previous Orlando Predator coach. Now the Albany coach is going against us, but we're going to bring him on the show and uh, be here. Get your questions ready. I'll be let's here. Just, let's just hammer him up. Let's, let, let's, don't, let's make him feel welcome. Let's get some really good questions. All right, let's just do it up. Um, other than that, I, if I forgot somebody, I apologize. Other than that, go Preds. Love you. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.